welcome back to the channel. We are going to finish our page, or at least I hope we'll get her, get it finished, uh, from A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo. The page we have been working on is the last page in the book with the little owl family. So the background was, in case you haven't seen the other parts, the background was done with Neo Color 2s. And the moon was done with some metallic watercolor paints. And then the rest, um, well, the stars were done with the uh, Pentel Sparkle Pop gel pen. And the rest was with the Arteza color pencils. So, we are going to start with the Daddy Owl all over here, I guess. <laughs> Um, and so we're going to start with his face and we are going to be using the same color combination for his face that we used for hers. Let me zoom you in, get my pencils sharpened, sorry for not doing that earlier, <laughs> and then we will we'll get started. pencil. Okay. So, for his face, we will be using Camel Brown, Honey, and Jasmine Yellow. This one, um, in the original 72 set was, uh, Ivory, I believe, so if you have that set, um, but okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna go in with the camel brown and just do his the same way we did hers, pretty much. So the only colors we're using on him that's the same as what we used on her is the colors that we're adding to his um, face area. I'm not sure what better way to put that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the other the colors for his body and his wing um, will be different than what we used on her. Okay, and so next is honey. We'll go over what we weighed down. Let me extend that out. Everybody had a good weekend. And got to do lots of coloring or other fun stuff, relaxing stuff.
Okay, lastly is jasmine yellow. that we are going to use on the rest of him. Are hazelnut brown, passion fruit red, burnt ochre, ginger, and camel brown. So I'm just gonna sharpen the hazelnut real fast. And then we'll get started on him. Okay. So we'll take our hazelnut brown and go along the edges. Just a little along the top of his head. And then along in here. Try to feather that out a little. <clears throat> I'm gonna do that in here. And we try to put a little feathered edge on each side of that. So along here. And then along the bottom. Move him up just a little. Okay. Put some of this along this edge. And around where the baby owl is. as well as along the edge of his wing. Okay. Now next, 
go over this with a little bit of the passion fruit red. And just go over top of what we just did and feather that out. I'm just a little bit different look than the Mama Owl. It'll be more of a reddish brown. And we're just going over what we laid down. And then extending it out just a tiny bit. Don't want too, too much of this passion fruit red. Okay. Next is going to be the other way. Next will be burnt ochre. Again, same thing. Go over what we lay down. Extend that out. Just going over this part here real lightly. Next, I'm going to use ginger. Just leave a little bit of room for our last color. And then finally, um, our camel brown. With this, you would go over everything, blend all these colors together.
All right, and so now we'll start on his wing. And so we'll go back to our hazelnut brown. And we're gonna start at the top here and fade down. Then along anywhere where it looks like one might overlap the other one. Put a little bit more of this there too. We'll just do this on all these different little segments of his wing. And then for the little, the little baby owl, we're going to use both combinations um, on him. So I'm not quite sure how he's going to look, but that's my plan. We use both combinations. Okay, so now passion fruit. Go over that and extend it down. Just make sure you remember to leave a little feathered edge for your next color. Next is burnt ochre. Ginger. And some of these little segments of the wing are kind of kind of small. Like those two at the top. It's kind of hard to get all those colors in there, but it's okay.
Okay, and lastly is the Camel Brown. And we'll just go over everything with that. All right, so there's the mommy and the daddy. So the little baby out, we are going to do him just a little bit different. back to our camel brown honey and jasmine yellow for the face again I'm gonna go along this edge along here And then jasmine yellow. So, for this little guy, we are going to do. So, my thought is, sorry, trying to organize pencils while I talk, and apparently can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> so, um, my thought is, is the back of his head right here and this wing will be the same color as the daddy, and then the belly will be the same as the mommy. And he might look a little funky, but if he does, that's okay. <laughs> I don't think these two combinations look that bad together, so I think everything will be fine. But yeah. So this is the hazelnut brown. And I'm going to go ahead and add this to his head and go ahead and do the wing. While we have this in our hand. Next is Passion Fruit Red. So what's it like where you all live at? Has it, has it gotten really cold yet? It's been really cold here every morning. I actually have my little fireplace going right now. And I'm considering <laughs> making me either a cup of coffee or maybe even a cup of hot chocolate whenever we get this done so I'm not sure but I'm a little on the chilly side this morning okay so burnt ochre And he's a lot smaller, so 
if you're following along, if you don't want to use all of the colors, you, of course, do not have to. Um, since it's such a small area, a lot of times I would have, there are times where um, I'll take the color combination and just shorten it down a little bit, take a few of them out, but I'll get these colors in here as best I can. And will be just fine. So camel brown. Okay. And now we'll go back to the other combination for the mama owl. And so we will use, where did I put it? Hazelnut brown, raw sienna, camel brown, and cream. So these colors right here. So we'll start with our hazelnut brown again and give me one second guys okay I'm sorry about that um so we'll take our hazelnut brown like we did on the mama go along where this um right along there <laughs> can't get my words together again starting to become a thing, apparently. <laughs> anyway, so we've almost got this page complete. We just have to finish him up and our tree branch. And we will be all done. Okay. Next is raw sienna. We'll go over what we already laid down. Feather that out. Next is Camel Brown. And lastly is cream. Okay, so yeah, he looks a little different, but that's okay. I still think he's cute. Alright, so there's our little owl family complete. So now for our tree, we are going to use um, Okay, for our tree branch, we're gonna use espresso brown, burnt umber, coyote brown, and camel brown. So I'm gonna start with the espresso, and I'm gonna go along the edge just a little bit. The branch isn't that big, so I have an area. I'll just put a little bit of this around there and I'm going to go over all the little lines that the artist drew in with the espresso as well um, and now for this part of the branch where the little owl family is sitting I want to add a little bit more of this espresso 
because there would be a shadow probably under the little owls. And well, it is nighttime, so I don't know how much of one you'd actually see, but yeah, the moon is right behind them, so maybe. Anyway. All right. And then a tiny bit along the bottom. And then a little along the top and the bottom. And again, I'm gonna go over most of these lines that the artist drew in. And we can always go back over those later if we need to make it darker. So next is Burnt Umber. Go over what we laid down. Next in that out. brown. And lastly, we'll go over top of everything with the camel brown. tricky getting up against the spine of the book. And I'm sorry I'm moving this so much, but I'm trying to get to this little, all the way over to the edge, and now you can't even see what I'm doing. Where it goes into the spine. Okay. Alright. There we go. Sorry for turning that all around. Alright. So, I think I might take my espresso and go back and deepen some of this up though. Make the little lines and a little shadow we had under the owls. Make that a little deeper. Okay, and then bit more texture kind of <laughs>
And there is our finished image. So, oh, um, I did have someone leave me a comment wanting to know if any of the, um, any of the stuff I used on the background had went bled through to the other side. So I just wanted to show you that it did not. Um, I did, however, but this is just me and how messy I was, but, um, I did get some of the Neo 2 on the, on the edges a little, but it did not bleed through. Um, so yeah. So if you like this video, um, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, stay safe and happy coloring. Bye, guys.